Hi, Rich Daly from Dinoport. Finally got our Y pipe and pipe stamps back. Very happy. We saw uh, five on the pipe, three on the Y, which is amazing compared to what we used to see on our ETEC, two on a Y and uh, our 800 and three on the pipe. So uh, let's start in. Here's the stock, uh, which we usually see our baseline is in 163, 164. So 164, 29 at 7800. We go down to our newer pipe. Uh, again with the stock Y pipe, very wide power band, 169, 169, 167, peaking at 8, pretty long run, there's my time graph. Uh, then let's go down, this is what, I'm still amazed at the gain we made. There's the Y pipe. Now, we came up through quick, uh, cold pipe on the start, then we held it. So 171.63, 172.31, peaked at 79, tapered off at 171. Super wide band. We'll go down here. Same deal. We let the motor idle. We started right in again. I held it a little sooner. By the way, guys, forget all this gibberish here. That means not a damn thing. We rush up through it as quick as we can because when you hit the gas on your sled, your tack goes instantly up to 77, 78 and then climbs. So this means nothing. It's, it loads the motor, it screws up, it detonates you. So you'll see all these dips here. This is where I'm coming up through like a madman and I'm grabbing the knob to slow it down. So we don't even care about that. That's a dip. Right there, we'll go up here. So at 78, you can see we're down, but no big deal because now we're on the clutch. So here we are, 171, 171.92, 171, 171.74. So again, two 172 numbers, which is great. I get all these calls. I get all these private messages. You see all these dyno things. Here's what goes wrong, guys. This is the exact same test, exact same pipe, exact same Y. 168.8. We come up through quick. We held it like you'll see in a lot of tests. One second. So two seconds at peak. Half a second there. So we wanted to blame it on Skidoo and all their technology. Or one of my guys did. And I said no. Let's run it the proper way like we do it in the field. Boom. See my time graph? Two, four, five, seven, eight. And watch this. Get rid of the false data, the fake news. And we have one, two, three runs exactly the same within a couple tenths of a horsepower. And guys, that is what's critical in dynoing. I just saw a test on a new 850 from a guy who don't know how to run his dyno. He made 171 or 172 when he was cold. Then he made 167. Then he made 168. Then he made 169. If you look at his chart, it's like this all the way up through. So pay attention, and um, we're super happy with this. Yes, you're going to have to clutch it a little heavier out in the field because you're making more power. And no. We haven't needed a controller. We did test last winter. As you can see, we're holding it anywhere from 8 to 15 seconds, uh, which is the same as you ride it. So, thanks, guys. Guys, hey, I forgot to mention one thing on the Y pipe dilemma. Yes, the stock Y pipe is the best with the stock pipe. It's a three plane stamp. Nobody's going to beat it. We've proven that. Uh, some guy did a dyno test showing two, three horse. My buddy got mad, bought one, brought it here. Uh, we actually did see one that matched stock, uh, almost wasn't as torquey coming up through, but matched stock. Our Y pipe, and this is technology we learned, learned on my XP race sled with a big header, big volume pipe, a lot of compression. We can expand the Y pipe the whole way, and normally we see about two. On this engine, we saw three. Put the same big expanded Y pipe in place of Skidoo's good three plane on the stock pipe, we lose two and a half. So. The point here is, it's a combination, guys, with airflow. Uh, 
So very happy that we saw this gain. So once again, if you've got a stock pipe, do not buy a Y pipe from anybody. If you want to buy the pipe, you're going to pick five. If you want another three, which is a giant gain in this day and age, put on the big, we've got to get a name for it, put on the big neck Y pipe. Thanks.